and let me use number three and four, of which you need to understand the theory for learning unit number three and four. And at the same time, you need to know how to you know, calculate the markups, how to calculate that, how to classify that according to the input and the output, and how to use the markups when they say the markup is on selling price, and sometimes they say the markup is on sale or on cost. So you need to check those things before we can uh, be able to answer this kind of questions. Okay. So what I want us to do at the moment, I want us to go through this question, and maybe some of you have seen this question before, but remember, before you can tackle any question, just make sure that you underline the most important information. So if you can check this question, they say complete the following table stating whether the transaction affects input or output by taking the correct column. Further calculate the amount of that. At 15%, if you put any decimals, they say we need to convert to the nearest uh, two uh, decimal. Okay, so again, we need to know that we have to calculate that. At the same time, we need to, uh, to tell whether this bet is input or output. Okay, now, for this one, let's check the first one here. They say we purchase inventory for 5750, that inclusive. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to calculate that for me and put it on the chat. Remember, even if you're incorrect, it's okay, but I'm just gonna give you a few seconds and calculate so that I can engage with you at the end of the day. So please calculate a vet for me here, and then also tell me what will be the vet for this number one, for 4750. Please, I'm gonna give you a few seconds. So everyone must try. Please put it on the chat, and I will wait for you. I've got 750 from, from Melody. Let me wait from others. Thank you so, the, uh, so much for that, Melody. Also tell me whether it's input or output, Melody. Thank you so much for that. Yes, okay, let's support, let's support this. I can see JP says 750. So let's go and check, uh, check these others. I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna call your names. Remember, I want you to be involved so that we can understand. Uh, output, can you set output? Um, uh, Melody said output, uh, to which you said 750. Uh, yes, this lesson is recorded. Yes, the lesson is recorded. Uh, yes, so I agree with you guys. I'm gonna put the amount, the amount is 750. So I get, I hope everyone knows how to do it. And uh, everyone said it is in, uh, output. Uh, I tend to disagree. Remember, guys, we are buying. Remember, I told you the minute you buy, uh, the minute you buy, you can be able to, to, to classify. So remember, because we are buying here, because we are buying the word purchase, remember, I told you, you associate your purchases. As long as you buy, you are going to have the input. So please make sure that you know that here we are going to have the input. Do you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, about this one? I can see some of you struggle with this. Can you see now? When you buy, it's input. When you sell, it's output. Unless you've got specific cases where the goods are returned. Remember, we talked about this in class. Is everyone on the same page? Let me see. Yes, 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 so that I can know that you understand. Chandani, the lesson uh, cannot be immediately accessible. Remember, after this recording, it, it needs to populate itself. So it can be available. I don't know how many uh, how many hours there after, but the lesson will be automatically recorded. You can keep checking it under the blackboard. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for that. For the yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Chandani, let's talk about this day after, please, uh, so that we can continue. Uh, uh, let's say, let's go to the next one, guys, because of time. Uh, just try case sales for me. Uh, Chandani, you say, where can you find it, Chandani? Where you, you normally find the other lessons, Chandani? You know where you normally find your recordings? Uh, Chandani, from which group are you from? Let me check with you first, Chandani. From which group are you from? 
so that I can advise you where you can find it. Please others try to calculate the VET quickly for me for number two, and then uh, tell me whether it's input or output. Chandali, where, from which group are you from? So that I can advise you where to find it. Three seven fifty output. Yes, uh, I can see three seven fifty for melody. Okay, I agree with the three seven fifty. Three seven fifty, and then I can see. I can say output. Let's see others. What do you think? Please uh, let me check who else is this. Anna Melody. Imposed 3750 output. Okay, thank you so much for that. Yes, I agree. Remember, you are selling, it means it's going to be your output. Thank you so much, guys. Please must practice. Can you see? This can shoot you because you are selling now. Okay, US, you are selling. Make sure that you know how to do it. Please quickly do the uh, Create uh, the one trade sales of inventory for two four one fifty. Please quickly do that. Let's quickly do that, guys. Let's try to buy inventory on credit. I see 3150 output, who supports, thank you so much for that, uh, Melody. 3150 output, who agrees with her, with uh, Melody? Thank you, Misha, for that. Thank you so much for that, guys. I appreciate. Okay, no problem. Uh, the answer is 3150, JP. How did you find 3622, JP? Tell me how you did that, JP, so that I can help you. Hannah, how how did how did Hannah how did, tell me first, Hannah? How did you get your answer for that? What what do you think first? I can show you unless if you tell me tell me that this is how you find the answer. JB said two four one fifty times fifty over hundred. Hannah, how did you calculate yours, please? How did you calculate your vet? Same way, no, 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 you can't. Remember, this amount is including bet. You can't use 15 over 100. You must use 15 over 115. Try it, you'll see. So when the amount is including bet, you must use 15 over 115. Try it and let me know if you found the same answer. JB and Hannah, use 15 over 100. No, not 15 over 100, 15 over 115, because the bet is included. Let me know if you found it. Perfect. Yeah, remember, it's either you use for vet purposes, you either use 15 over 100 or 15 over 105. You need to be careful here because they keep telling you that the amount is including vet and others are excluding vet. Please try the next. We bought inventory on credit for three to 200. Tell me how much, whether it's input or output. I see 4,200 input to support me, please. Try first, try, try, try. Uh, 4.2 uh, input, okay, let's see. 4.2 input, 
Okay, I agree with 4.2. I do agree with you guys. 4.2, I'm going to write it here. But the answer is, I agree with those who say input, the answer is input. Any question about that? The answer is input. Okay, so please let me know if you've got any question. Okay, let's go to the other one, the purchase fruit for 280, excluding that. Tell me what it is. Forty two and forty two, forty two. Okay, uh, Gabi said, does all trading inventory on credit? It doesn't matter, uh, Gabi, whether you buy on credit or you buy for cash, you need to calculate input. So when you decide on the input part, don't check whether it's bought on credit or for cash. As long as you bought input. We okay, Gabi? Okay, no problem, thank you. Yes, I, I agree with you here. We have got the input. Uh, let me just do this. Input. Remember you bought fruit. Uh, if you can check about things that cannot be claimable, fruit falls under what? Under uh, non-allowable. So here you can just write zero or now. It's up to you. Yeah, so please do not you can't. So this one, yes, is input, but you cannot you are not allowed to claim it back from SAS. Eh? Go and check. Uh fruit in general. Uh yes, you pay, but you cannot claim back on that. So again, this is one of those which are under non-allowable. Okay. So please go and check your notes for that. Okay. Yes, you do. There's a vet included, you cannot claim back, unfortunately. Okay. Please try purchase stationary for 149250 in drilling vet. Tell me whether it's input and whether it's vet. Uh, the, what, how much the vet amount? Okay, 1950 HANA outputs. No, I know, okay, 1950. Thank you so much for that. 1950 output. Uh, those who just said output guys, are you buying or are you selling here? Tell me. Remember, I told you that you must check. So you said it's 1950. I'm gonna write 1950 here. But yes, melody, there's a list here in your book. You can find that even on my notes. Uh, I did uh, put some examples there, so you can go and check them on my notes. Okay. But guys, please, let's talk about buying stationaries. You said output, I disagree. It's input, guys. I can see some of you are struggling here. It is input. Okay, so make sure that you know how to classify. I told you when you buy, it's input. When you sell output, simple as that. Unless you've got special reasons, like for example, returns, the customers, and the repair test, things like that. Remember, I told you that you do the reversal there. I hope that you understand now. Laken and G and Hannah, do you understand the reason why I said input? Yes, please. Next one, do the last one for me quickly. Tell me what about the next one? Nine hundred. Output who supports me for thank you so much Mpo, for that. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, this is how you must do it, guys. Please let me give you an opportunity to ask questions on this. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that, Hamza. This is how you are supposed to do it. So 
uh, from what I realized now, a majority of you know how to calculate VET, so you just have to be careful. VET, you either use 15 over 100 or 15 over 105. You use 15 over 100 if the VET is not included. But the minute they say VET is included, just know that you must use 15 over 105. That's the first thing. And again, majority of you are struggling to identify. In simple terms, the input is when you buy. So input is paid by us. So as long as we go and buy as a business, we are going to pay input. But output is paid by the customers. So it means when we sell to our customers, customers will pay the output. So you must check whether you are selling or you are buying. Yes, there are special cases where you must do the reversals, where there are discounts, where there are returns, you just have to do the reversal. If everyone following, let me see yes, 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 so that I can know that you understand what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the next question, guys, so that we can be able to. Another question is this one. Uh, I will upload these slides, guys, after this, uh, so that you can be able to go through them on your own. Um, check this question, guys. Uh, again, remember here it's important to know that here they say we have we are a red vendor, so it means we are using 15 percent so again, you have seen this question before, guys. Right? So you need to know how to deal with it. So firstly, let's say, for example, you are writing a test. You must just check, OK, I can see that I've got 15%. It means the VAT will be calculated using 15%, OK? If, they, if I have to calculate VAT. And the other important thing is to check the markup. Remember I said the markup can either be on cost or on selling price. So if I were you, I'll quickly go down there and analyze the markup. So quickly on the chat there, who can analyze this market? For example, here, I've got, they say the markup is on cost, and they gave it the markup of 40%. Please, who can tell me how to analyze this markup of 40%? Put it on the chat for me. I'm going to wait for you. Remember when I used to uh, analyze for you the cost, uh, the cost price, the markup, the selling price. So I want you to tell me how will you arrange, if you want to arrange. Remember, you don't have to analyze if you don't want to analyze. You can use your own technique. Let me give you a few seconds, guys, and tell me how to analyze. Remember, we've got the cost price. Uh, Melody said cost price 100. Okay, others can get involved. Thank you so much for that, Melody. Cost price is going to be 100. I agree with you, Melody. And then, well, so what about the markup? The markup is given. Please come on. The markup is going to be 40%. Thank you so much for that, Melody. And the selling price is... So this is what you need to do before you start writing it. I hope you are remember. Because next time you can change, it can be markup on selling price. But the minute they say markup is on cost, just know that the cost price will always be 100. And the markup, like they said, is going to be 40. And then if you add the two, you get 140. Is everyone following? Can I see yes, 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 so that I can know that you're following? Perfect, perfect. So now, because, thank you so much for that. Because now we understand how to analyze. So it doesn't matter. Can you see they gave us the cost price here? Likely, remember I told you guys, this is very much important. I told you that you cannot use the markups on the amounts including VAT. Can you see here they told you already that these columns are not including VAT. This is what we need. So you cannot write it down, write it down, write it down. You cannot use the markup on the amount that is including VAT. That is a fact. Write it down, guys. I'm checking you. I can see you. I can see you. Write it down. You cannot use the markup on the amounts including VAT. So all the amounts must exclude VAT. That's why here we, for us already, it's so I don't have to worry. I hope you appreciate that, okay? But as you can see here, here they, okay, they gave us the cost price. They want us to calculate the profit. Remember, the profit is the same as the markup profit. Don't be confused. So you can quickly write it. So here they mean, let me write it for you. Here they mean markup profit. Because when you mark up, you make profit. That is what they, they mean. 
Okay, so it's the same thing. So remember, according to this analysis that we've used, you can either calculate profit first or selling price first. Let me give you an opportunity. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. Please calculate one of the two, A and B for me. I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Using this, you can use, if you are struggling, you must use this analyst. So before I can show you how to use it, I wanna see if you can do it for me guys. Thank you, Melody, for that. I'm going to wait. Thank you so much for that. I um, uh, appreciate it a lot. Yeah? I can see 800 from Melody there. I can see 2,800 uh, um, for the uh, Laken 8,000. Laken, how can you get 8,000 profit if... Um, it's a lot. You can't, you can't get 8,000 profit, Melody, unless if you meant 800, Laken. Double check that. So I agree with you guys. The answer here for the profit is going to be 800. Okay, yes, they can understand. So 800. And then uh, your selling price, I agree with. Thank you so much for that, guys. You understand. So the cost price, the selling price is going to be 2,800. So who doesn't understand so that I can be able to explain? Otherwise, I'm going to move on. Okay, Jimmy Shaw uh, has got a question here. Let me uh, show to me so how to do that. Remember to me so, like I said, this is very much important. You ask yourself, it doesn't matter which one you start with. Let's say, for example, to me so, we, uh, okay, in this case, we wanted to find the profit. So I must go, remember the profit is the same as the markup. I must go to the markup and do something like this, and I'll put Christian mark. Remember, this is what we did in class. Uh, I'm just going to put a question mark. I put question mark in line with the markup because I'm looking for it. But for me to calculate this profit, what amount did they give me? They gave me the cost price. Meaning in line with the cost price, I'm going to do this. How much is the cost price given to me? They gave me 2000 That's the first thing that I will do. So I'm looking for the markup, for the profit, but they gave me the cost price. So after doing that, it's going to be easy for me to calculate because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna focus on this. Let me see. I only focus. Let me change the color so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm only going to focus on this part. I hope you are following. Can you see now? I focus on this part because now I want the fraction. Can you see now? So about the fraction, what do I mean? It means I need to go back and say, okay. Where did I put question mark? I put question mark in line with what? With MP, meaning 40 will be on top. I'm going to say 40 over. Can you see that? So, but where did I put the amount? I put the amount in line with 100. So I'm going to divide by 100. So my fraction is going to be 40 divided by 100 multiplied by 2,000. Can you see? So you must do that. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling. Can you see now? Or you can go to the notes, there are formulas there, but I don't want you to memorize the formulas. So you must do this first. When you put question mark, you put that on top. So for example, if your question mark was in line with the selling price, you were supposed to put 140 on top. Can you see now? The reason why I put 40 on top is because I'm looking for it. Can you see now? The reason why I divided by 100 is because I know it. Are you okay to do so? So much for that to me. And then the other one to me, so it's easy. The minute you find the profit, uh, remember the formula. So if you take the cost and you add the cost, you add profit, you always get what? Selling price. Can you see now? You can use that technique. Again, it can work for you. Can you see now? So you can use that technique. So I hope you are all following, guys. Let me see. Yes, 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 before we go to the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, team. I appreciate it. So the next one, they say, they are looking for the markup. Can you see now? It's different from the first one. From the first one, they gave us the markup. The second one, they didn't give us the markup. And they also didn't give us the cost price. But I agree with you. 
Or for example, do you agree with me if I say for me to find D is very easy? Please find D for me. You can easily find D. So find D for me. If my profit is 5,000 and my selling price is 10,000, please find D for me so that we can be able to calculate. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I agree with you guys. Thank you so much for that. So D is how much is 5,000. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's now. The minute into is easy to find D. Now. Again, it must be very, very easy, guys, to find C. I like this question. Eh? Because we know on top, this will guide us. The markup is on cost. It means for me to find C, I must go and find the markup given to me and put it on cost. Can you see now? So the markup that I have is going to be 5,000. And this 5,000, I put it on cost. I put it on 5,000. Is everyone on the same page? Let me see. Yes, 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 yes. Can you see? That's what I said. This must be very simple to you. So you are controlled by what you see on top. So I'm going to say 5,000 divided by 5,000. Okay? But I want this answer to be in the form of a percentage, and I will multiply it by 100. The reason why I multiply it by 100 is because I want it to be in the form of percentage. Because if I can leave it like that, it's going to give me the decimal. So if you do that, you're going to know the answer for C. How much is the answer for C? How many percent? Thank you so much, Likin. Thank you, Umpo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Just like that. So this must be the easiest thing that you have ever found. So remember, if you can tell me, just for the interest sake, you know that we talk here, we just share the, uh, share the information. So what if the markup was on selling price? How will my calculation look like? Let's say they want you to find C, but the markup is on selling price. So tell me, just tell me, which one will I divide by which one? Here, yeah, please, I'm going to give you a few seconds. Just write it for me. I want to see on the chat. So how will the calculation change if the markup was on selling price? Guys, I'm waiting. What if the markup was on selling price? I just wanted to show me, will this calculation stay the same? If, if not, tell me how will this calculation change if the markup was on selling price? Will the answer be still be the 100% or not? So tell me, how will the fraction, will this calculation change? Gabby, Gabby said, no, please, how will it change? Tell me. How will the calculation look like if the markup was on selling price? As long as you said you understood how did I do this, it means you understand how to, how will you do it if you're on selling price. Otherwise, you don't understand why do we say 5,000 divided by 5,000. You are correct, Melody. It will be 5,000 divided by 10,000. Thank you so much, times 100. Thank you so much for that, Melody. Thank you so much. No, you can't say selling price divided by profit. No. Because the markup is on, the markup must always be on top if you want to find this percentage. Okay, you will say profit divided by selling price if the markup was on selling price. Okay. Yes, you must just switch it over, profit over selling price. Okay, Lincoln? No problem. Now, you are, I think you understand what I was trying to say. Okay, thank you so much for that. Guys, let me know if you, uh, you understand. Okay, let, let's try. Please, the markup now is 25%. I'm going to wait for you. Find cost price or profit for me. I'm going to wait for you. 
find E or F for me, and then we can discuss the after. Cost price 3.2, thank you so much for that, uh, Paul. This might be profit. Thank you for that, Paul. Thank you for that, Mpo. Thank you so much for that. Any questions, guys? That's how you must calculate that. Any question? I hope you found the same answer because if you didn't find the same answer, you'll ask. But what I can advise you, you must analyze like this, but using 25%, you must analyze like this. Lakin, how did you do that? How? Okay, tell me first, how did you do that? I want you to try first, Lakin. Tell me first, I told you, remember I said you must analyze like this first? You must first analyze like this, do the question mark like what I showed you, and then I'm going to give you a few seconds to try it and tell me, and then you said 4,000 times 25. Yes, uh, you are correct. No, you can't say oh you, to find eight and then eh? like if you wanted to find eight and that you are correct. If you wanted to find eight and you are correct. So if you do this like you will find eight and red. I hope you're okay, Laken. And I hope you know how to find the no problem. Thank you so much. Can you see? Yeah. So don't doubt, Laken, don't doubt, doubt your, your answers. No, sometimes we doubt our answers. So that's why I want you to try first. So I like the fact that uh, I think you understand how to do the cost price, how to find E. You know how to find E. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Laken. Please just remember this will always help you. This will always help you. So any question guys from anyone so that we can go and try the next one? Today I'm just trying to try the things that I think will check. So do you think so far you got something from the markups and the vet? Because I'm gonna move to the next one. Yes, I'm still gonna use markups and the and the vet, but you know I'm gonna incorporate it. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Paul, thank you, Jimmy. So thank you, thank you, Lakin. Uh, what about others, guys? I'm waiting for you. I can't leave you alone. Uh, Ngama, thank you so much for that. Hamza, thank you. Melody, thank you so much. I appreciate guys. I'm worried, guys. No, what? Little, okay, but let me not worry. Maybe they pass. Because there are supposed to be people from how many groups? From four groups. Because we also invited the other group, which is not mine. Only 11 of us. But it's okay, you're not doing it for them, okay? We're doing it for us. Because even if they don't attend, uh, obviously it means they've got some rest. But I don't know, others maybe just decided to not to attend. So I think I need to discipline them a bit today. I'm gonna keep this uh, this link and I'm gonna only give it to people who attended. No, 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 these people must attend. So before I give them the link, they must tell me what was the reason for not attending before I can send them the link. Because I want them to pass. You see now, I don't want them to affect our our pass rate. Okay, guys, let's move to the next. That is uh, something for another day. Uh, thank you, guys. Let me just go to the next one. Uh, this is the cash book receipts, as you can see on top, guys. Here, uh, as you can see here, guys. Uh, let's say you are writing. By the way, you are writing next weekend. By the way. Uh, Good luck, uh, for example, uh, and then again, uh, congratulations in advance, because I know you're going to pass. Uh, but firstly, tell me on the chat, what important information must I 
highlight here. Tell me, I'm gonna highlight as you tell me. Please help me guys, which information do you think I need to highlight to make sure that my things are well structured? So which information do you think I need to JB, you can find them under your library thing. Under your library. I'm not sure on the VC then how I'm gonna do that. So if you struggle that uh, you can check with uh, the library there, they will show you how to do that. But I think if you go under your VC, there's something called eShell on your VC connect. Okay. Okay, let me see, let me see. Well, I agree with you guys. All amounts are inclusive of VAT unless stated otherwise. Thank you so much. And then the fact that, yes, cash is banked daily, the perpetual system, thank you so much, 15%, can you see now? All sales, and then yes, the cash. So this is very much important. Okay, so again, guys, I'm just asking so that you, you must expect that these things to happen. Guys. I know you'll understand how to do it. Okay. Yes, to me, so CBR is the inflow of cash. I like that, I like that. Make sure that you know that. Uh, let me write it quickly here so that we can know that we dealing with the inflows of cash. Thank you so much for that. Inflows of cash, meaning only cash we receive will come to the cash book receipt. Okay. Thank you so much. For that. Thank you so much. For that. Okay. So let me go and check. These are the transactions, guys. I think you know you and I we've done this before. And then yeah, let's go through this and check. So what you what I advise you to do, guys, is to classify the information first. Before we can calculate or maybe do some calculations. Remember when we were talking in class about the theory, we did mention the fact that we have got eight subsidiary journals. Remember, we said we had CBR, CBP. C, uh, PCJ, DJ, DAJ, CJ, CAJ, and the general general. And I said for our test, they're only going to assess us on the CBR, CBP, and PCJ. You know them, we're talking about them as a theory. I'm not gonna go back to the theory now. But can you see what they do in the exam or test? When they give you these transactions, as you can see, these are the transactions. When they give you these transactions here, these transactions are mixed. These are the transactions, they are mixed. So you need to understand, read and understand. But because here I'm focusing on the CBR, meaning I need to receive cash, please tell me, when you check number one, where they say the owner contributed cash, to the business and issue the receipt. Where do you think I must record this? Which book? Where will I record this? Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I agree with you, CBR. Can you see now? This will help you a lot. So, first, you must do this quickly. So, what do you think about number two? Read carefully for number two and tell me where to go for number two. Uh, DJ, DJ, yes, number two, ah, guys, you understand, DJ, because you sold on credit, guys, please go and practice those things, I even gave you some notes, I even have videos about them, go and check them, what about number four, number four, thank you so much for that melody, thank you so much, who supports me for that? Thank you, CB at Lake, and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I agree with you, CBR. What about number eight or on the eighth? What about the eighth? Thank you so much for that. Also, CBR. What about number 10? What about number 10? Are ah, you on fire, Melody? Number 10 will be GJ. Remember, you can't record it anywhere. GJ. What about the 15th? Thank you so much, Lincoln. Uh, Melody said CBR. Who supports Melody? 
Um, thank you, Lakin. Thank you, thank you, Timisha. Thank you, thank you, Seth. Thank you, Sylvia. Guys, I'm happy with the progress. And let's add a thank you, Hamza, for this. So, guys, this will help you a lot. Can you see now? So now you know when you go and record, you have, only, you have to go and record only information where you said CBR, 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 CBR. Okay, so that will help us a lot. So let's make sure that we know how to deal with this. Okay, so now we are going to record. So if you are ready to record, guys, let me see. Yes, 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 so that I can know that you are ready uh, to record. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Guys, please stop me. The minute something doesn't make sense, stop me, guys. Monday is Monday. Is it Monday or what? Yes, Monday is Monday. I think you are writing on Monday. Am I wrong? Is it Monday? I think so. I think so. Thank you so much. I want you to be ready. And again, guys, remember I told you that I have got, uh, thank you, I have got a, 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 um, a what's this? Facebook page where it's written account with Sylvester. So most of my students, uh, some of the students from other, you know, uh, universities, what they normally do, they come, let's say on Saturday, they've got a question, they post on Facebook. So on Facebook, I can easily see that I can reply you on Facebook. So if you can, go and join Accounting with Sylvester, so that if you've got questions, just imagine if, if you put a question on Saturday and I'm not at work. So I can, uh, even sometimes, I'm, I'm even thinking of doing some live thing on maybe over the weekend, just to answer questions from students regarding the, the test. What do you think? Do you think it's a good thing if let's say I can have a live thing on Facebook so that I can be able to to answer some of your questions if you have. I think so. But remember, you're not compared by law. So if you want to do it, you can come and join. So no problem. You can go and join my page, guys. Okay. Because I want to help you guys. I want to. I Gabby. Um. I just. I. I just saw Gabby. Uh, uh, Gabby joined my my my, my Facebook. Uh, uh, Group, so maybe uh, consider it done. I'm gonna approve you, but I'm gonna about that. Okay, I'm gonna approve you now. Okay, guys, I think we can switch over to the next. Um, I'm gonna record now. I'm gonna upload this uh, slides immediately after this session, guys, so that you can be able to you know to divide because we need to know how to divide. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next slide as you can see. I'm gonna record. No, no. Can you see what I'm what what I'm doing? It's not like I still have information here. So let's go and check quickly. What about the 17th? Look at the 17th and tell me where to go, guys. Okay, I just approved all of you. I think I also saw Hamza in on that. I, I approved you guys on my page, so. You are part of my group now. So please tell me about the 17th. Uh, what do you think I must go and record? CBR, Laken, CBR on the 17th. Who supports Laken and Kilebukhile? Welcome, Kilebukhile. Um, guys, check here, man. Are you receiving cash here on the 17th? Ah, guys, check it, man. What are you receiving? Are you receiving cash? Gabby, you are correct. It's GJ, guys. Ah, come on. You know, uh, you guys, I'm going to detain you if you do this. Guys, you're not receiving cash. The owner didn't contribute. Can you see the owner contributed? This makes the difference, man. Contributed a couch. Unless if you use your couch to go and buy. Huh? Is it a Bitcoin? <laughs> so I'm just saying. But please remember, be careful. Can you see you can make a mistake? We only go to the CDR if the cash was involved. Can I see yes, yes, yes to show that you won't forget in the future? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. What about the 20th? Tell me where to go on the 20th. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. DJ, DJ Lakin, thank you, Ongama. Thank you so much. 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 I hope everyone understands so far. What about the 22nd? Tell me where to go. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.
Yes, uh, Meloni, yes, you are correct. The equipment contribution will always be recorded in the GG. Yes, you are correct. So in a nutshell, let me say, any contribution other than cash must go to the GG. I hope you are following. Thank you so much. Okay, what about the 31st? Where do we go? No problem, really. What about the 31st? JP said CBR. GJ. Lincoln? Let me wait for others. JJ, give me some. JJ, JJ, fortunate. Yes, the answer is JJ. Remember, I said if you chat and over to account, remember I told you before, guys, let me highlight for you. So this account is overdue. So if you chat an overdue account for a data, it must always go to JJ. Okay. So, but if the interest was on the bank statement, the one that you get from the bank is the one that you must take it to the CPR. Are we together? So this is how we must do that. Okay, so guys, I hope everyone is following. And then the requirement here, I'll complete the cash book receipts. Okay, so this is what we want to do. Now, can I switch over to the next one, guys, to the next, uh, let me see, yes, yes, so that I can continue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Remember, if you don't understand, you don't understand. There's nothing like a silly question. So, guys, what I did because of space, and because I didn't want to go go uh, back and forth, you know how do I do it? So, I took only those transitions we said they would go to the CBR and I put them together here. Can you see now? So I'm not gonna go back and check them again. So I put all of them together here. So guys, I'm gonna give you the platform. The first one, on the first, C. Camden, the owner contributed 70,000 cash to the business, issued a receipt, RC20. Please tell me, how will I record this? How will I record the first one? Obviously the date, guys, I know the date, so I'm not gonna wait for you for the date. Uh, I'm gonna, the date will be the first. And then the document number is going to be RC20. Okay, please help me, what is the details? Help me, thank you so much for that melody. Please help me with the other columns, details please. And the, yeah, just tell me what you think I must do. Uh, thank you so much for that. See Carmen. And then, uh, do you, must I write something on analysis? Thank you so much. Doesn't matter, guys, just tell me which column. 70,000, I agree with you. And then where else must I go? Please tell me. Show off, show off, show off. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Bank, 7,000. Uh, before let's let's go to the bank as the last thing. Let's go to the bank as the last thing. Okay, I'm gonna write it because you want me to go there. Oh, you guys. Oh, okay, I went to the bank. Where else must I go? Where else must I go? Is that all? Sunday seventy thousand. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Sunday seventy thousand. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate seventy thousand. And then where? Hey, uh, is, is that all? Capital Anderson to perfect, guys. Ah, you are on fire. You are going to pass. I can't wait for my distinction. Capital. Did I forget something or is it complete? Or did I forget something? I know that thing looks like it's nothing, but we forgot. Thank you, Laken, for that. I'm gonna underline. 
Perfect. Ah, you guys. Ah, remember, perfect. Let's not waste time. Let's not waste time. On the fourth, cash sales. Uh, hey, thank you, Ongama. I am going to write it like that. Please, if you don't understand what Ongama told me uh, on the chat, please let me know. CRR. Uh, this one, if they said like this, I can't wait to disappoint the haters. The day is the fourth. Thank you so much for that. Cash sales, we are on fire. But I'm just gonna write cats like this, there, cats like this, because I don't, I don't have space. Please help me with the other columns, please. Let's see. Uh, how much is it? Uh, two six hundred markup selling price was applied. So please tell me to which columns must I go and record? Analysis two five six hundred. I'm gonna write it as it is on gamma. Okay, two five six hundred. Thank you so much. Let's help with the other columns. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, bank. Okay, so I must write two, five, six hundred under bank. No problem. Thank you so much for that. And what else? Okay, let's set uh, 220 for sales. Two 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 sixty point six seven or eight seven. Thank you, Caleb. We look for that. And then, what other column must I go and record? Is that all? Caleb, we look cost of sales. You said one six six nine five one six five. What else? Underline, okay. Then I must underline, I'm going to underline there. And what else? Is that all? How much is VAT? Yes, said VAT, how much is it? Three, 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 nine point one three. Uh, Gaby said, how do you get sales? Remember the selling price. Remember Gaby, the market is on selling price. Uh, we were, so I'm gonna analyze here. I don't have space, but I'm gonna analyze. If the markup is on selling price, maybe your analysis will be cost price. It's going to be five, can you see? And then the markup 25 and the selling price. And the ability. This is how we analyze if the markup is on sale. Because they told us the markup is on selling price. So this is how I analyze. Can you see now? So I believe, uh, Gabby, you know how to use this. Can you see now? Because now you are looking for the, you are looking for the cost price. Because you say, how did you, oh, no, 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 no. You are talking about the sales. Okay, that was the markup sale. So for the sale, um, Gabby, if you can check this amount of 2,500, Gabby, this 25600 is including VAT. Remember, for you to, I think it's better for you to find VAT first. So you would say, uh, you will take for this amount, it's better for you to find VAT first. So I think you must find VAT first. And then you will say 25600 times shifting over. Can you see, if you find VAT first, it's going to be easy for you to find the sales. So if you found VAT and you're going to say 25600 minus 333, you get this amount. Are you okay, Gabby, for the sales? Because you're not asking for the cost price. So are you with on the uh, same page with me, Gabby? 
Yes, always try to find bed first, Kevin. Okay, okay, okay. Any other question, guys, before I continue? I hope, Gabe, you know how to find 16, you know how to find the cost price, because you must use the selling price here. Uh, what's happening? What's happening for with the cost of sales? For elaborate, I just see that you wrote cost of sales. What are you saying about the cost of sales? Is it a question? Do you want me to show you how to calculate cost of sales? Okay, no problem. The cost of sales. Let me just do this. The cost of sales here is going to be obviously we'll take the sales, but you must use this. You're gonna say 75 divided by 100 and 22 to 60. Okay, you must use this thing. Okay, this, this will help you a lot. Remember when I said you must put question mark, question mark. This is how we found it 75. Because I'm looking for the cost, I put 75 on top, and I know the sales. I put the 100 at the bottom. Are you okay, Paul? Paul, of course, got a problem with the network. Uh, so, is there any other question, guys, before you move on? Uh, I can see that you were kicked out. Uh, are you okay for now? Thank you so much, Mpo. Thank you for that. I appreciate others. If you understand me, can I see yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I can go. Perfect, perfect. But can you see what you can do now? Just check where you struggle a lot. Can you see? And then, like I told you guys, for you to find the cost of sales, always use the sales. Can you see now? So, we use sales to find cost of sales. We use cost of sales to find sales. It depends. Sometimes they can give you cost of sales, sometimes they can give you what sales. And know how to use that, guys. Know how to use that. Can you see? It will help us a lot. So, let's go to the eighth, guys. Tell me how will I record the eighth? Help me with the eighth, please. The eighth, yeah. The source document is RC21. Thank you so much, Laken, for that. And Como, thank you so much for that. I appreciate this. Como. Uh, thank you so much, Pimiso, for that. 9450. Please, let's help each other quickly. Let's help each other quickly. Okay, where else must I go? Sundry 950. Do you agree with uh, Lake and this? He said 950 under Sundry. Rent income. Level real set. Uh, Level I said details must be you said Sanders A2. I'm gonna put it here. You said A2. Remember, if it doesn't make sense, you will, you will ask me A2. Understand? Point three nine. Thank you for that, Level Hile. And then it means the minute you do that, there's a one column missing. No, can you see? Yeah, Timmy. So I think you 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 uh, raised a good thing here because. Normally, they penalize you. When you say rent only, they do penalize you. You must be very specific. Yeah? Because rent can either be rent receipt or, or rent income or rent pay. So you must be very specific and say rent income or rent receipt. Don't say rent only, okay? So don't do that. Especially in the exam, they can penalize us for that. Vet, thank you so much for that. Vet, is thank you later. This one, two, one. Two, three, two, 
please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me if you are lost. Remember, if you are lost, we will find you. So let's, there's something maybe doesn't make sense. Guys, like I said, remember, firstly, rent income is vetable. So that's why we have to put uh, some information first here. So is this complete? Must I go to the next one? Are we not missing anything? Bank 950, thank you. 9450, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm gonna underline here like this. Thank you so much. Can you see that? So please let me know for those who don't understand what happened. How did you get rent? JB, 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 let me say this. Remember I said, if something is vegetable, you must first find that. I'm gonna give you a few seconds. You take this amount, this including VAT. First, find VAT. If you can find the VAT first, you will find this amount. Like I did here on number four, Gabby. Can you see the same principle? If you say 9450 times 15 over 115, you get this amount. The minute you get the VAT, the difference between the two amounts will give you the other amount. Are we together, Gabby? Are you following Gabby? Thank you. Please don't. That's what I'm saying. Can you see others can start with this amount? It's okay. But I prefer, if you are still struggling with calculations, always take the amount including VAT. Remember, this here includes VAT. So this amount is including VAT. So take this amount, times it by 15 over 105, you get the VAT. Automatically, the minute you get the VAT, you will get the other amount. Please use that technique. It will help you a lot. I know it will work for you. Any questions, guys? Any other question before I show you the other one? Okay, tell me about the 15th. Tell me something about the 15th. Thank you so much, Shongama. Guys, remember, they can mark everything, so you must record all the information given to you. Don't skip information. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to let cash like this space. And then tell me where to go. On Gamma Sex 22100. Who supports On Gamma? KB said yes, Melody said 22 and analysis. Kilebo Hile said no, say something Kilebo Hile. Kilebo Hile said 2-5 and analysis. 2-5-4-1-5. I agree with you Kilebo Hile. Guys, check here. Can you see? Yeah, I can see that we forget. This amount is excluding VAT. And remember, I told you here when you come, when you come here, this must include VAT. Can you see that? So this amount is excluding VAT. This one is excluding VAT. You can't put it here. So whenever you come here, I told you before. Let me write it for you again, 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 again. So here I said you need to include VAT. Always. Uh, guys, if you forget this, you're going to lose marks. I don't want you to lose marks. So, the main, this analysis and bank must include VAT. So, because they gave you 2,200 two, excluding VAT, you can't put it here. So, you must first calculate VAT and include it. How much is the VAT? Calculate VAT on 2,200 two, for me. Calculate VAT on 2,200. Two, I'll put it here. Thank you for that. So, the VAT is 3... Three, one, five. Thank you so much for that, uh, fortunate. And now, immediately when I find VAT here, I know that I must include VAT. So, how much is the amount for VAT? It's two for this, Like you said, can you see Kilebo Kile? Kilebo Kile said, sales are how much? Sales are now. Remember, sales must exclude VAT. So, you need to be careful here. Two, two, one hundred. Can you see that? You need to be careful. So, when you say two, two, one hundred plus three, three, one, five, you get one, two, five, four, one, five. I hope everyone is following me. Laken, are you good? Ongama, are you good? 
Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, can you see what I can tell you guys when you are writing a test? Just check the amounts. They, they will trick you in one, one thing. One thing is going to trick you. So, yes, if this 2 to 100 was including VET, I would put it under what? Analysis. But the fact that it's not including VET, I'll first calculate VET, add that VET to the amount given to me, and I'll find that analysis. So, sales already. Can you see normally we have to find the sales? Because sales must be excluding VET. Remember what I told you before. So, because this amount is excluding VET, 2 to 100, that's why I put it under sales. But in most cases, they give us the amount including VET, and we had to take out VET to find the sales. But in this case, the VET is not included. It's copy and paste here. Can you see that? Thank you. Now, what else must I do? What else must I do, ladies and gentlemen? Cost of sales, thank you so much, Kilebo Hile is given to us. Can you see now? I don't have to calculate it now because it has been given to me. Can you see now? Even if I can try to calculate, I don't have the math. How will I calculate it? Can you see now? So, and then what is next? Thank you, underline. Yes, I'm going to underline now. And bank. Okay. Three, two, five. Forward. I'm going to underline. You see, just like that. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, guys. So please, for now, add columns for me. I want the totals quickly. I need the totals. Just add the columns for me. No, we don't underline the bank, ne? Hilo, hilo. we only underline the analysis, only. We don't underline the bank, hilo, hilo. we analyze the analysis, not the bank. Yes, no problem. Please find, uh, help me with the total, uh, the bank they said is... How much is the total for the bank and the total for output, I want the total. Thank you, uh, Tumi. So for that, uh, I'm gonna the total for uh, for the amount, and it's gonna be seven eight. Seven eight to uh, two one seven point three nine. And then for the bank, thank you so much for that. For the bank is six seven. Four six five. Uh, what about the output vet and the sales and the cost of sales? Let's help each other, guys. Let's help each other, guys. Thank you so much. For this. Vet is thank you, Kilabu Hille. Vet is going to be seven eight eight six points. Seven four and the sales amount. Thank you so much. Again. I'm just gonna squeeze it here. Four four three sixty point eight seven. Hopefully. Okay, thank you. And the cost of sales. Please, you must always do this next so that you cannot lose much. One eight three nine five point six five. You see, this is what you must do all the time. Okay? Please make sure that you know how to do this. Okay, please. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. No, we don't add analysis to Fortunate. Don't, don't, don't. You're going to lose marks, ne? So we don't add analysis. Don't add, ne? Please don't, 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 don't. don't. All times do not. And then even if you edit, uh, even if you edit, uh, please, uh, they must be the same. Always going to be the same as bank. Okay. So, yes, Laken, uh, David Bank, I like that. You know, I, I'm impressed. Laken, we do that. Uh, we, David Bank, 
and what else? And I said we we uh lady uh Erika Nano, I'm happy. And we did it. And then ah uh, we are on fire. Ah uh, we are on fire. I'm gonna put it. This is this what you must do when you're writing to me. You must do this. You never know, they can ask you something. You and I know what is that something. So the guys, I'm just trying to squeeze everything here. Credits. Uh, credits. Thank you so much for this. Okay, so please make sure that you know how to do this. No, can you see for now? It's okay, the totals, you can do them at home. What is the bank? They say the bank is wrong. So, yes, I think it looks wrong. The bank looks wrong, man. Because this cannot be the total. So, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. So, the bank is one three. Okay, let me just cancel it uh, like this. And the bank is wrong. Okay, thank you for that. I'm going to put one three zero four six five. I hope it's correct. Thank you so much for that. Guys, please make sure you calculate correctly. So what I'm gonna do, guys, take a screenshot of this because I want to show you something. So this is the end of what I was planning to do, but I want to show you something. You know what I mean, okay? So take a screenshot of this, and then I'm gonna show you something there after. I'm giving you a few seconds to do the screen show. I'm also trying to do it from my side. Melody, what do you mean by say how do you check your work uh, in that way? Like uh, elaborate a bit so that I can. I'm still trying to save some. Uh, you say how do we check our work? Like uh, Melody said, say to check if my work uh, makes sense. I have to add. Uh, yes, you have to add. Remember, but it doesn't give you the full picture. You can still be incorrect, but it will add up to that. So yes, if you can add all the columns, then right, from amount column up to data's control then right? you will get a total of the bank yes that's that's a good thing melody you're correct even so you can add those columns you can check yourself in that way but that is just checking the process of recording because even if you are wrong with some of the amounts still it can still add it depends but that's how you can yes exclude cost of sales because cost of sales already is part of the sales are we together ladies and gentlemen Melody and Caleb are you good? Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I'm loading something so that I can show you something else. I'm still loading there. So you can also ask some questions now, guys. I'm just trying to load something quickly. Quickly, quickly.
Um, yes, I can see that you just did correct uh, cause of please. I'm not gonna correct it now because already I populated something. So change it from your side, but I'm gonna use what I have now. But please just change it for the thing. So the total of the cost of service is wrong, but please guys, I'm not gonna go back and change it, change it from your side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you something. Okay. So this is what I just populated now. Remember, this is the copy that I you know from the previous slide. So they said cost of service is wrong. I'm gonna pretend as if these totals are correct, but from your side, please change it, okay? So I'm not gonna Please, you must be careful with the calculator, I know. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Melody, for that. So, but now remember, the reason why I'm doing this, I think you know already, they can ask you something. I think you and I know. Uh, they can ask you this. I think you know by now when I do this, you know what I'm talking about. They can ask you something like this, okay? Um, please, I want you to show me. I want you to show me uh, the bank. I want you to open the bank for me. Just tell me what to what to do on the bank. Remember, this side will always be debit, and this side will always be credit. Okay. So, please tell me. Let's say they want you to open the bank. Tell me where to go under which side, and I'm gonna take it from there. Okay, no problem. Remember, don't forget the date. Do we know the month for this? I don't remember the month, but I'm not gonna show you. You know, okay, the month is April 20th. Right? So remember, don't forget, you must always have this. Thank you so much. You are correct. So I'm gonna thank you, Lakin, for that. Uh, I'm gonna write total receipts. And you must tell me that you got it from the CBR. And like you said, it must be 130465. Can you see So I'm not gonna write the date, you know how to write the date. So the date must be 2020 April the 30th, the 30th. Let me just write it so that I don't want surprises in the exam. This is how I must write it, guys. I'm only going to write it once. April the 30th. That's what, how you must do it, okay? Thank you so much for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any question about this? Is everyone following? Oh, what? What if we had the cash book payments? Remember, what if we had the cash book payments? Under which side and how would we write it? I'm going to wait for you. What if it was a cash book payment? Tell me under which side, like the way Kilebole put it for me, just write it down for me and tell me under which side. Craig side, do you so I agree? And how would I write it? Total payments, thank you so much, Mpo, for that. Melody, for that, thank you so much on the Craig side. And obviously, I'm going to make sure that I took it from the CBP. Don't forget this CB thing. This CBR has got marks. So you must write CBP on this side, total payments. Please, you must know how to do that. Perfect, Lakin. That is how you must put it. But I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just going to show you what if, let's say, for example, we had total payments. I'm just doing it, guys. Don't ask me where I got their figures from. Then. I'm going to say total payments. I'm just saying what if. I'm going to say CBP. Let's say the amount was. Uh, 200,000. Remember, I'm just showing you what if. Can't it be like this? And then, after doing that, remember they can ask you to balance, and balancing, remember, we balance like this. You and I know. You and I know better. So, remember, you and I, we did this together. So, we ask ourselves which side is the biggest, and the biggest side is there. Create side, thank you so much. We are going to the biggest side is the create side, so I'm gonna come here and say 200,000, which is the biggest side. You know, the biggest side is the one that must appear both sides, don't you know? And immediately after doing that, I go to the smallest side and I find the difference. What is the difference between 200,000 and 130? 
and I will call it, please find it for me, the difference between 200,000 and 130. Um, thank you so much for that info. Balance. Carry it down. Remember, C slash D. Thank you so much. And then you set you, you 69535. Please ask me questions so far. So the first step is to find the biggest site. The biggest site is 200,000. So I write 200,000. I also copy that to the other site. That's the first step. After doing that, on that site where I copied, these things don't add up. So you say 200 minus 130, you get a difference of what? Of 69535. They will ask you to balance the account to me so. Uh, Dimisho. So they will say, please balance the account. So if they say balance the account, this is how you must do it. But if they don't say balance the account, you don't have to worry about it. Are you okay, Dimisho? And they are, they are going to ask you to open. They will, they, they will give you this format. They will give you the format of this ledger. They will give you a format with a bank like this, and you just have to go and record it. Okay, Dimisho? Yes. So after doing the carry down like this, like you said, here, Laken, I'm going to say balance brought down here. But the date, remember, must be 2020, and it's going to be May 1st. You see now? And then you say balance brought down. And the same as that carry down, always. So the brought down will always depend on the carry down. Indeed, yeah, always, as you can see here. So this one will always be the same as this one. So you must check that. Can you see that? Always the same. So you must first find this one for you to find that one. I repeat, firstly, you had the two figures. So, the, so if this total receipts was bigger than the total payments, so 130 was supposed to be here and was supposed to be here. But for the fact that the total payments are more than the total receipts, so the total payments will take the precedence, and I'm going to put 200,000 here and also copy them. Immediately after copying that, I'm going to go and minus the receipts and find the difference. So the difference will always be under the smallest side. So that difference is called balance carry down, and I bring it down. If you are following, guys, let me see on the chat. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, Lika. Thank you, thank you. Ask a question, Melody. I will explain. Ask a specific question, Melody, for that. So that I can explain. Melody, ask a question. Okay, why is the CBR and C why is there CBR and CBP under bank? Maybe I don't I don't understand your question, Melody. I think maybe you mean why is there CBR and CBP under bank? Which bank are you referring? Okay, remember this amount of 130. I took it from the CBR. This is the CBR. You know, this is the CBR. So I took the amount, this amount here is the one that I took to the bank. So it comes from the CBR. And then for the payments, I said I assumed that if I had a payment, I would take this amount. This amount, I just assumed that it was there. But I don't have CBP now. So I assumed that what if, because I was trying to show you how to balance. For this question, uh, Melody, I was supposed to only have the information on the, I was supposed to only have total receipt CBR 130, that's all. If, if they gave you the C, if you, you compiled CB, uh, CBP, let's say you had CBP, yes, you were supposed to transfer that bank to the bank, uh, this site. But this one, like I said, you don't have to do it. I was just showing you what if we had it. In this case, you don't have CBP. And again, you will see under CBP, you have got column for bank. So you, you will be forced to come, to transfer it. Because wherever you find bank, you must transfer. I hope you are we're on the same page, Melody. 
So don't worry about the create side melody. I was just saying, what if you have it? But you don't have it for this question. You were supposed to only have this entry. Are we together, melody? And the reason why I assumed I wanted to show you how to balance, because if I didn't have this, you know, I wouldn't balance it for you. Are you okay, melody? Yes. Remember, it's a process. It's a process. Um, let's open output vet together. Please think about it. Tell me on the chat what you think. I'm gonna open. Uh, now I'm gonna open the output. They will give you the format if they ask you for that. Um, please just tell me where to go. I'll go there. I'll put red. Tell me which side must I go in half. Credit, uh, okay, credit. How will I do that? Thank you, Lele Bugile, for that. April the 20th, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it, Lincoln. Please help me with the other information. Yes. And what else, Masaret? Can I write total receipts? Before you are correct, I'm gonna write bank. CBR. And how much is it? It's seven. Let's see, seven eight eight six. Thank you so much for that. Can you see now? Now I want you to check the difference. Now, someone can ask ourselves and say, "Why don't we say check here? Why don't we say total? You can't say total because." This is not the main column. The main column here is bank. Remember, the main column is bank here. So the reason why we said total receipts under bank is because bank has got everything in it. But output vet does not have everything in it. So what you need to do, you must say, okay, output vet is also part of bank. That's how we write bank. So in a nutshell, everything that you're going to open here, except cost of sales, will have bank as the contract. So avoid saying total. You only say total because it is what is the main account and the bank. Are we together, guys? Can I see? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So I'm not going to waste time for you now and say open sales. It's going to be the same thing. Even under sales, you're going to go to the credit side and write bank CBR what? 4436. Even under capital, you must go to the credit side and say bank, 70,000. Even under rent income, you must go to the credit side and say bank, CBR, how much? 8217. Can you see that? So I'm not going to waste time and say open the other accounts. Are we on the same page, guys? Can I see? Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, guys, to finish your ink, right? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Now, let's open the last one. Thank you. Yes, let's open the last one. Tell me about the cost of sales. Now I want you to open cost of sales. This is a special case, you know that, like Gila Bugile said, it's going to be different. So they will ask you for the cost of sales. Don't worry, they will give you the format. They'll say cost of sales. Please tell me where to go for the cost of sales and under which side. Uh, Lakin said uh, 20 years. I'm going to go to the debit side. I agree. 2020. April. 20th. And then I can see the trade. Thank you so much for that, Lakin. And thank you so much. Trading. Inventory. Or inventory. CBR. 
I'm going to use that amount as it is. I know the amount is different there, but I'm going to use what I see here, 1.8. So I'm just showing you. But here, because I'm showing it here, I'm seeing it here, guys. Let me use the one that I have. So I'm going to use this one. I know we made a mistake, but this is what I'm going. So if you in your case, write this one, 3.3695. But for me, because I'm showing you the ledger, I'm just trying to show you that even if you are wrong there and you transfer it, I'm still going to imagine you correctly here, even if you are wrong there, okay? So this is how we do it. So I want you to remember this, guys. It's a very special case. I told you wherever you see cost of sales, even if you see cost of sales at the Mall of Africa or even at Santa uh, City, just know that if you see cost of sales, you will definitely see what? Trading inventory. Can you see now? Cost of sales? always go with the trading inventory. As long as you sell stock, you're going to have cost of sales and in trading inventory. Is everyone following, ladies and gentlemen? Can I see? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Leike. Thank you, Hamza. Thank you, Kilewo Kile. Thank you, Mpo. Thank you so much. Guys, this was the plan. Uh, how do we record each account under general ledger? Uh, Melody, please rephrase your question. How do uh, so, so you said do we record each account under general? No, you only open the account. Remember, here I opened every account because this is a lesson. But in the exam, they can choose the whatever they want. They can say open capital only or open capital and rent income or open bank and debtors control. Can you see uh, Melody? So don't worry. Yes, they, obviously in the test they cannot say open all the accounts. You want to finish, okay? So they will give you the accounts that they want you to open. Melody, are we on the same page? As long as you know how to uh, transfer to them. So for example, let's say you are writing test on Monday. They say please open the following accounts. They say sales and bet. They will only give you the format for sales and bet, and you have to deal with those accounts only. So what I want you to do. Uh, you must make sure that you know how to transfer. Okay, Kila Bide. Sir, can we please do output vet then assume we had... Uh, let's see. Okay, you want us to do output vet for this question. Okay, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, you say, okay, for example... If I understand you, Kilewokila, you want me to say, okay, let's say, for example, they asked you for, let's say this account, the, so what Kilewokila is asking. Kilewokila, let, let me know if I understand what you're saying. So we say, okay, in this case, like you said, we do have output vet. Okay, so according to this, remember so far, we, we did record under output vet. I think, I'm not gonna write the date once again, so I'm just gonna write bang. This is what we did, CBR. And the amount that we recorded here is how much? 7886.74. This is what we did. I think you're not surprised we did this one. So, Kilabovila, I think you say I must assume that I've got input vent. I must just come up with. Please don't question, don't be confused. Yeah, don't be so thank you, Kilabovila. Don't be confused. Kilabovila, say, okay, what if we had input vent? Because we can have input vent. Input vent can be in the CDP. So, let's say, for example, we had CDP. Uh, and then under the CBP, we have got input vet. So it will be like this. I'm going to have input here. Uh, input vet. Let's say the, uh, the CBP had input vet of 10,000. Okay, I'm just assuming, guys. Can you see? So it will look like this. It will come here on the debit side. Né? I'm going to have bank. But remember, it won't be under uh, CBR, it will be under CDP. And let's say it was 10,000. Please don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm assuming that we had it. Okay. So if we assume that we had it, it's going to look like this. Is everyone with me so far before I go further?
What about others? Please let me see. Yes, 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 so that I can see that you understand what I'm saying. Mpo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anna, thank you. Thank you, Ongam. Yes. Let's say we had a situation like this. So if in the test they just ask you to open out with vet and they just keep quiet there after they are very silent after this. So this will be how you must record it. But the minute they say you must also open an account, remember that the requirements will they will give you the requirements. They can also say, please open this account for us. This account is called vet control. I want you to understand what I'm talking about. So it means, okay, let's say for example, if they say open output vet and input vet, and they just say they stay silent thereafter, it means this is how you were supposed to end your question. But the minute they say you must open output vet or input vet, and then they also say you must open vet control, it means you must take this further. Remember, I told you you must transfer this input and output to the vet control. Okay? Who can tell me before I can show you? How will I transfer output to the vet control? Let's start with the output. How will I transfer it to the vet control? Tell me how to record under output to show that I'm transferring it to the vet control. Laken said on the debit output vet, but okay, and Mpo said credit output. No, Mpo, I can't go to the credit side of the output because I'm recording on the, so I'm gonna come here on the debit side, okay? I'm gonna show that I'm taking this to the vet control. And remember I said the, uh, the channel for that is always GJ, so don't worry about it, I'm just, as long as you know how. But I don't think that they can ask you this situation. And I'm gonna say 7886.74. This is how I transfer out, uh, output vet to what? To the SAS control. So remember when I go to SAS, remember this side is David. So because I said vet output on the David side there. So I'm gonna go to the vet control. I do that double entry system because I took it from the David here. I'll take it there and say output vet. Then I'm going to say GJ. So I don't think that they will ask us because can you see if they ask us this situation? It means we must understand GJ. Remember, GJ is not part of our test number three. I don't think that they can end up talking about the GJ because if they want to do the GJ, it's going to be unfair to us because it's just that with our group, remember, we, we just learned everything so far. So it means they won't ask you for the GJ. Let's say, what if they do this? So does everyone understand why did I do this? Do you understand how I transferred? Can you see? You took it from here to the opposite side. That's how you must do it, okay? The same applies to the input. Let's do the input quickly. Just the same procedure, but for the input, I'm gonna go to the opposite side. I'm gonna say, yes, I'm taking it to the left control also. You see the same thing like this. Remember here, I took it from the credit. So it means I must come to the other side here. Like I said, I don't think that they will end up doing this. No, no. Let's say, you see now? So I want you to see it's like that. That's how to transfer. And again, as you can see here, Can you see, because you took it there, you must take it there. Can you see now? So that is how we do it. And it's then that now you can balance the account the way I've shown you the, how to balance the account. Remember when I showed you how to balance the account, I said you must always check the biggest side. So I expect you to know how to balance the account. You see now? So the biggest side in this case is what? Is 10,000. So 10,000 will appear in both sides. 
Pues 10,000 is the biggest size. But please don't stress, I don't think that they will end up asking this kind. So I'm gonna put 10,000. But balance, you must know how to balance, you never know. And it's enough. And thereafter, you find the balance. What is the difference between 10,000 and 7,000 and something like this? Please find it for me. Balance for balance carry for me. It's like the difference between 10,000 and, uh, and 7886.74. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. And they have to just bring it down on the other side. Okay, I'm just trying to speak everything here. Just two and three point two two. You see, balancing is the same, same way to balance. But yeah, this is how to transfer. But as I said, guys, because uh, as you can see here, like I said, because this GJ thing, this GJ is not part of a uh, GJ here, it's not part of the, the number three. So it, it's going to be unfair if they expect us to know that we must say GJ, but GJ is not part of test number three. Is everyone following guys? So guys, I think this is the plan for today. I think we tried our best. So this will be, uh, it has been recorded by the way. And then the link will be shared with you, okay? So for those who are from group one, we'll find the link here, but don't worry, the link will be sent. Dorin will send the link to everyone. Uh, so that you can be able because I'm not sure who is from group uh, who is from group uh, group one who's from group one uh, to be so like I said they will send you the link yeah? they will send you the link so that you can be able to access the link oh Mpo, you're from group one it's okay uh, Hamza from group one oh sorry sorry sorry, sorry. No, I'm confused who is from group two who, who, who is from group two, please? From group two? Because group two is the group that is not mine. Remember, my groups are one, three, and four. So even group two was invited here. Oh, no one is from group two. So it means group two is not invested. Um, you are from group two. Okay, no problem. So I'm gonna the room is gonna send you the link ne, about this so that you can find the link, okay? But I'm also gonna put this on my on my YouTube channel, okay? So those who cannot, but I think the room will send you. So uh Jim, thank you. Uh those who cannot, I'm gonna also put this on my YouTube. Ne? I think you know my YouTube channel for now. So you can find this on the YouTube. I'm gonna upload it on the YouTube, right? Okay. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for attending. I know some people are still sleeping, uh, but we managed to wake up. So, thank you. My YouTube is Sylvester Simone. So, if you want to find me on my YouTube, uh, my YouTube is this. If you put. No, remember, YouTube is my own channel. Eh? Don't worry. It's not like you have to go and check it. I'm just saying, if you put time, you can even find some other videos which I posted before. You can go and check them. That's my YouTube channel. Uh, if you go and type Sylvester Simono, you'll find me there. I've got many videos that you can check. Others are old, others are new. Maybe they can be very useful, especially with the markups and everything, the events. Okay? You can check them there. Paul. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, guys. I appreciate it.